Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this video. So this is one final concept which is left in from module one, which I wanted to cover. That is with respect to the image connectivity. Okay. So let us see that connectivity based on the different neighbors, which is uh, in the basic relationship of the pixels, which have discussed in the previous video. Based on that, we have different kinds of connectivity. Okay. So that let us discuss one by one. So connectivity. Connectivity is adapted from neighborhood relation. Two pixels are connected if they are in the same class. Okay. That is the same color or the same range of intensity. Okay. So one factor you should be remembering for connectivity is that the connectivity would be uh, happening only between the two same intensity level pixels. Okay. For different intensity level pixels, we cannot be having the connectivity. This, so this is one important parameter to be remembering for connectivity and they are neighbors of one another. That is, they should be neighbors. That is, it, uh, for, if one pixel position is 0, 0, and uh, if other uh, pixel position of the same intensity is 0, 4, those two are not neighbors. In between, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, right? 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. So those, after skipping that, it 0, 4 position comes. So those two are not neighbors. So the neighbors that is should be just next to one another. Okay. So like that, the connectivity would be happening. Otherwise, the connectivity won't be happening. For You see here, for P and Q from the same class, we have three types of connectivity. Okay. They have mentioned three. One is four connectivity, eight connectivity and mixed connectivity or M connectivity. Okay. So one by one, let us see this now. Here, P and Q are four connected if Q is Q belongs to N4 of P. Okay, only for four connectivity would be satisfied if Q belongs to N4 of P. N4 of P means, I've told you what do you mean by N4 of P. You see here, this is N4 of P, that is the adjacent elements. Okay, if and only if they are adjacent, then only we could be following the four connectivity. Next is eight connectivity. P and Q are eight connected if Q belongs to N8 of P. N8 of P is this one where we would, be, we would be having both adjacent as well as the diagonal pixels. Okay. And one final connectivity is mixed connectivity. P and Q are M connected. That is mixed connected. If Q belongs to N4 of P or Q belongs to ND of P and N4 of P combined with N4 of Q, which is equal to 5. Okay. So this is complicated. This I'm going to explain you while I'm solving the problem. Okay. How this mixed connectivity works. Okay. So let us see one important problem based on connectivity. Okay. So this is that problem. Okay. So here they have given the question as you see here. Compute the lengths of shortest 4, 8 and M paths. That is 4 connectivity, 8 and M connectivity. Like that they would be giving you the question. Between P and Q. That is, they would be giving you one matrix, as I've told you, the position P and Q here for this one intensity levels and in image segment shown below. Okay. In, this is image segment. And here, this is one image vector where you should be there. They would be mentioning you want one separate intensity level on that intensity path level only. You should be doing the connectivity. That is, they have mentioned two image intensity level pixels. That is, one is zero and one. Okay. So other than zero and one, if you have any other values in the matrix, you should not be considering it at all. Okay. So this is a matrix given. Okay. Four cross four matrix. 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2. Where here in the position of 3, comma 0, they have uh, given the P value. And here 0, comma 3, they have mentioned the Q value. Okay. From here to here, we should be doing the connectivity. Okay. How to connect? Let us see. First, with respect to four connectivity. So you see here how the four connectivity is done according to the definition it is when the q if q belongs to that is if this belongs to n4 of p then only the connectivity would be taking place so you should be moving in the adjacent direction here okay so it would be you should be starting from this initial position that is p should be going towards q okay first you see here only they have given the value 0 and 1 so first they have mentioned the shortest path okay so you should be, if you, there are two possibilities, you could be going either upwards or downwards. Okay. But if you go from upwards, then you see here, you would be getting stuck here. That is here we have two, here we have two, which is not possible because they have mentioned only zero and one should be only traveling from zero and one. 
so you should be going like this first okay so from 1 to 0 you should be traveling okay so 1 to 0 we have traveled so this is one you should be considering this as one unit okay then from you see here again we cannot travel upwards because we have here two okay but so but you could be traveling from zero to one here so that is possible so i have done that so this is the second part second co connectivity next again you see here one to two it's not possible so here we have one so travel upwards so this is the third part okay again you see here one to one is possible but here from one to two is not possible so here go upwards that is one to zero okay so this is the fourth path now here we are stuck here we got stuck okay we have moved four four positions one two three four but here we cannot be reaching this position because we should be moving only in the adjacent direction but here the zero and one are in the diagonal direction okay so this is the condition for four connectivity we cannot move further so you should be stopping there only and you should be directly writing it as not possible okay the answer is not possible because we don't have any elements uh, either zero or one we don't have any any adjacent sites okay so four connectivity fails for this particular problem now let us check for eight connectivity for eight connectivity you see here start initial position zero one this is the final position one p and q start from here eight connectivity is both adjacent and uh, sorry yeah both adjacent and diagonal okay so you see here you could be moving adjacent way as well as diagonal way but they told you to find the shortest path so keep that in mind you see here first move from 1 to 0 you cannot move upwards because if you move upwards adjacent or diagonal these three elements are not 0 and 1 so move front here so this is 1 we reached here 1 unit is done and now we could be moving here right we could be moving here and then up but if you move here and up two units we have uh, two units we are going to consume so since in the question they have mentioned the shortest path now you could be moving diagonally because eight connectivity we could be moving both adjacent way as well as diagonal way so zero to one diagonally i have moved here so this is the second path second connectivity and here you see here adjacent if you move adjacent here we will be getting two so that would be getting stuck okay but we could be moving from here to here but we have we should be using we would be taking two paths but since they have mentioned shortest path so directly come up here so this is the third path okay so from here now we could be moving here in the four connectivity we cannot be but here we could be moving because this is eight connectivity they would be mentioning that diagonal movement is possible so this is the fourth path so one two three four so we have connected four pixels in order to reach the final destination so that's why our distance is four units okay for eight connectivity it's possible so we have reached the final q value so that is four next for m connectivity i have told you right how to do m connectivity we should be doing we should be initially starting from the adjacent only okay we cannot be directly jumping towards diagonal path if and only if the adjacent path is not possible to be done then only you should be going for diagonal path okay keep that in mind initially you should be starting from the adjacent path only but if in if in one place if you got stuck in particular place you, where you cannot be moving towards adjacent but there is one diagonal path there you could be moving towards diagonal only if, if and only if we don't have any adjacent paths left okay so that is for m connectivity you see here from one they have moved to zero this is one then from zero to one this is two so here you could be moving diagonally here here from zero to one you could be moving diagonally but we can, you should not be moving it because we have the possibility of moving towards adjacent right so, so zero and one we have here so that's why you should be going adjacent only we cannot be jumping directly here okay so don't get confused for m connectivity you cannot be jumping here because we have this condition here okay again you see here from one to one we cannot travel so again go adjacent since, since adjacent is possible again adjacent is possible go this is fourth one now here if we come here at this point adjacent is not possible but diagonal is possible so go there and this is the fifth connectivity so answer is five okay so like that the connectivity should be done four eight and m connectivity for zero and one this is the first sub question and for the same matrix they have given for second condition that is one and two now you should be uh, shifting the connectivity you should be connecting the intensity values only one and two now you should not be considering zero okay 
So for this, the problem is done here. Four connectivity, eight and M connectivity. Based on the explanation provided, as I've, as I've told you here, just check for this, okay, and try to analyze it and do it, okay. So here, here is the answer and the result here. Verify this whether it is right or wrong. Let me know in the comments, okay. So that's all, guys, for this video based on connectivity and about the distance measures I wanted to tell you. So with this, we conclude with some important concepts of module one, okay. So now we have left with four modules, module two, three, four, five, where uh, I'm not going to provide much videos because uh, no much con con concepts are there in those uh, five modules. So one by one, around uh, total around seven to eight videos from all the four modules, I'm going to provide it in together. Okay. So stay tuned for that. Please watch these videos if you want to understand very well. Okay. Share it with your friends. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Keep supporting. Thank you.